Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing my review of ButcherBox. So I don't have any product to like show you in my video like I normally do for my review videos because we ate all the meat from our butcher box. However, um, disclosure here, I was invited to be a part of the butcher box affiliate campaign. And as part of that invitation, they give the influencers who they have invited a free butcher box full of meat to try. So I did get a free meat box to try at home, but as you will find out later why, I declined to be a part of the affiliate program. So I am not being paid for this video, I am not an affiliate for ButcherBox, and I am not making any money from this video from ButcherBox, from the company. And I think it's important to say that because if you Google ButcherBox reviews online, almost every single review has is positive and shares a link to purchase from their affiliate you know, link, which means they get a kickback from every purchase made under that link. And it's really hard to trust those reviews because like, how do you know if they're being honest or are they just saying that in order to sell meat? So some of them very well probably are honest, but it's just hard to tell. So we did not like ButcherBox. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of why. When you look at the website, I think ButcherBox seems like a really amazing company. They have a couple third-party certifications in terms of business ethics. They have some certifications in terms of where they source the meat from their animals, they're saying that they're ethically treated. And it was an excellent experience for me as an influencer to work with their marketing team. So as a company, I think ButcherBox seems like a really great company. I wasn't able to find anything that verified outside of those third party seals that they have on their website that verified all the claims that they're making about like ethical treatment of employees and ethical treatment of animals, etc. I wasn't able to find that anywhere else on their website, but assuming that what they're saying on their website is true, ButcherBox seems like a really great company. So why did we not like ButcherBox? A couple of reasons. First of all, ButcherBox is expensive. For many families who are looking to choose food products for themselves, for their kids, to serve to their families, cost is a really, really important factor, including for my own family. When we compare the cost of the meat in the butcher box to the cost of the meat that we can buy at a regular grocery store, it is so much more expensive and which makes sense because ButcherBox ships meat directly to your door. It's cold shipped. They also do take effort to ensure that the meat is ethically sourced and produced. So a lot goes into where they're getting their meat. However, it's also feasible to find ethically sourced and produced meat near your home like at a farmer's market, or you can talk to the farmers and see how they're producing their meat. So ButcherBox isn't the only place where you can find ethically sourced or sustainable meats. And you could argue, is it sustainable? Is it really that sustainable because of the large amount of shipping that they do? So anyways, now taste. My husband does all the cooking, so another disclaimer here, I had to ask him about his opinion on what he thought about cooking the meat and what he thought about the taste too but I did eat it, so I can tell you. I didn't think that it tasted any different from the meat that we buy at a regular grocery store. We don't purchase organic meat. We just purchase the regular meat at our grocery store. Um, the, the meat at ButcherBox is grass-fed. Um, we tend to not purchase grass-fed meat all the time unless it's the only option or it's a cheaper option or we need that to perfect that cut of meat for something. Um, my husband says he can taste a difference between grass fed and corn fed beef. I cannot, so I didn't notice a difference. He did notice a difference and he doesn't like the taste of grass fed beef. So that was kind of a ding against butcher box, but that's just personal preference. As far as how prepping the meat went, we in our house have a system of we 
pick the meals ahead of time, and then we tailor our grocery list depending on what our meals are gonna be for the next week, and then we purchase the food that we need to make the meals that we want to eat. Now, when it comes to ButcherBox, you subscribe monthly to a box and they send the meat to your door and it's kind of a surprise what you get unless you spring for the most expensive version of the subscription where you get to pick all the custom cuts of meat that you want. Now, if you're not going to do the most expensive version of ButcherBox and you're just gonna get the surprise cuts of meat, it makes it a lot harder to meal plan because how can you, you have to tailor your meals to the cuts of meat that you get versus tailor the shopping to the meals that you wanna make. And we didn't like that system. So overall, I thought the meat was comparable in taste to what we get at the regular grocery store. My husband liked it less. It was way more expensive. And I just don't feel comfortable recommending something to you guys that I'm not gonna purchase myself. We're not going to purchase a butcher box because it's too expensive for our budget and we can't justify the expense when we can get quality meat elsewhere in our community. If cost is not a factor for you and the most important thing for you is purchasing meat from an ethical company and convenience where something is delivered directly to your door, then ButcherBox might be a good fit for you. But if cost is really important to you and you don't wanna be spending over $150 a month on a box of meat that doesn't even give you all the meat that you're going to need in a month to feed a small family of four, then ButcherBox probably isn't gonna be a great option for you. So there's my honest review. Did I miss anything? Would you add anything? There's my honest review of ButcherBox. They seem like a really great company. They are just expensive and doesn't fit with our family's needs. If you really value finding ethical, ethically sourced meat, you don't need ButcherBox to do that. You can do that in your community by working with your local farms. You can go through a butchery, a local butchery, and you can also look at your local farmer's market and many grocery stores do source their meat locally. So just because you're purchasing meat from a grocery store doesn't mean that that's not locally sourced meat too. So you can also talk to your grocer to see where they're sourcing their meat if local sourcing is really important to you. So there's my review of ButcherBox. Don't recommend it to a family who's trying to be really budget, budget conscious, but for a family who that's not a priority for and their most important priority when it comes to eating is convenience, where it's delivered to your door, and ethics, and they don't wanna to go to a farmer's market or a local butcher, butcher box could be a good option for you. So, hope this honest review was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to check out my free courses for feeding kids on my main YouTube page. Bye.